Still in Maxwell, People Spotlight, and we're about to interview Mr. Raven. Let's go. Mr. Raven, Dylan Maxwell, People Spotlight, we would like to interview you. Hi, Dylan. How, How you doing? doing? Good, good. <laughs> um, do you like teaching here at Timberline? Oh, yeah. I love teaching Timberline. It's, uh, you got a bunch of really good kids here and good teachers. Why do you choose a darker atmosphere for teaching? Oh, it's, uh, it's not so much it's a darker for me. It's that I don't really like the overheads. Because I, I, I just feel like they're, um, the fluorescent kind of sucks the life out of you. So I like to have sort of more of a, a living room atmosphere. It's more comfortable, too, I think, for the kids. And it is for me, too, because I, I kind of like live in this room. So it's got to be comfortable for me, too. I hear you do uh, something special for Halloween. Uh, yeah, I like to, I like to tell uh, local ghost stories. And uh, I've been living here my whole life. So I know a lot of what uh, people have talked about in the area and the different legends that there are from the Lacey Olympia Tumwater area. So um, I tell my students some stories about like when I was at St. Martin's, I saw a ghost once, but I'll tell that on Halloween. But, um, and then I also show some, some kind of weird pictures and stuff and just kind of get people in the, in the mood for the Halloween season. I like it. And then I do a little bit about the history of it and stuff. Yeah. Here you have a newborn coming pretty soon. I have a, a little boy who's due in uh, January. So then I'll have, I have my oldest girl, be 12, that's Lily. And then I'll have my uh, middle daughter, Anna, she's 8. And then I'll have Jack, my, my boy Jack. Jack's going to be uh, born uh, in January. So actually it would be kind of weird is that I have a daughter who's going to be in college and a son who's going to be in kindergarten. So I got it. They're kind of like oh, across the board. So I'm planning on teaching until I'm about 110, I think, is what I'll probably do. Because I'm going to have to. My kid's going to be, you know, still going to school. So, yeah, that's my plan. Yeah. So you're quite the family man. Oh, I love family. I love kids. I love being a dad. It's, you know, it's a great job. Great job. So I love doing it. I highly recommend it for people who are over the age of 23. Over the, yeah. Over the age of yeah. Don't start when you're 16. It's, it's kind of hard sometimes, I would think, to be a dad or a mom. So, yeah. All right. So tell us a little bit about this uh, wall of fame you have. Well, over here I have my wall of fame. And on the wall of fame uh, I have students who can uh, uh, write on it if they get, uh, like, student of the month or they get a special recognition or a gentleman's award or a young lady's award. And what I find it's kind of nice is that students like to come back after years, and go back and see the pic, you know, see their their uh, their names on the wall. Um, I got this idea when I was in college over at Central Washington University. They had a pizza place down there called Ferrelli's, and you could, for ten bucks or something, you could write on their ceiling. And it was really kind of cool because I went back years afterwards and went back and saw my tile that I had written on the ceiling of that thing. I thought, well, that's the same thing my kids would dig. They like to come back here and see their names on the wall too. So I decided I'd do something like to just sort of to recognize the kids for doing a good job. This is Dylan Maxwell for People Spotlight, and now Johnny at the Smoke Pit.